thought it were bandits riding in. Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Rather die than tell him she would, but I know where she kept it. Sit tight, sketch it out for you. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. lead to begin the attack. There's a time to reap the salt of the earth. They are, Your Grace. They'd follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! The chase is on! Give me a time. Ever, ever... Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! Assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Formation! Protect the Queen! Aye. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Oh! 
I'm a monster. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandits stood not a chance. Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop. Ah, oh, I do adore this prospect. Yes, Lyria, the Pearl of the North. With its hills and dales, why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. 
but I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? I don't. But I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit. To earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spa- Talk of that nature could only ever result in mis- It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had- The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver ver- But Reginald first stayed the execution. Then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then- Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, Wisdom in others, Reginald. It was then I swore two things. Firstly... And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. I thank you for sharing that tale, Raynard. Alas, I've come to fear... A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. And is thus fully grown. The crown he... Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandit... We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope and say as will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of... It's time I attended to other matters. pay taxes for, to be robbed along the high road, and in broad daylight, no less. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why, I'd have gone round, through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why, I'd have gone round, through Sodden. Gods of mercy! Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! daylight, with the heat positively sweltering, have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord, and great caution we must exercise. Raymond, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such... thing. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. These carrion eaters. I know them. 
appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first, until, that is, they fill their guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. They look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. I'm a monster. Ah, so fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. Willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Your Grace, get more come. They fill their bellies, ma'am. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. as steers they've grown, and they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground, fall back. We can't win, must minimize our losses. My queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there. Yet another abomination. Oh, that stench. My salts. Where are my salts? Give me a time. Oh, 
The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours.